Well, here we are. Those of you who are fans of the show, which is all of you presumably know what's coming up in today's episode. So don't worry. I got the right guest. My name is Ashley Clements. And my name is Julia Cho. And this is the Look Back Diary. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Thank you. But I'm mad at you. I'm not oh, mad at no. you. Oh, no. But, but Lizzie's mad. <sighs> let's so, explore that. Let's, ex- let's explore let's un- that. Let's unpack it. Mm-hmm. Say more about that. <laughs> this is a big one. And I remember, here's some weird things I remember before we go into this. I remember, Uh, as we've already discussed, it was a very hot day. Yeah, this was part of the batch of hot, hot day, hot day, hot filming days. Well, this was the first hot day. You weren't there for the second hot day, which was hotter. That was when Wes was there. Oh. Um, Just dripping. Yeah. Dripping his sex I unfortunately, unfortunately missed out on that day. Yeah, I missed out on shirtless Wes day. But I remember that it was very, very hot. Mm-hmm. And then I remember that for lunch that day, Jenny made garlic soup inexplicably I the soup. in July. Oh. It was so hot, but also like it was what was for lunch. But yeah. I remember that you and I got our hot lunch, our hot, hot lunch on this hot, hot day. Hot bowls of soup. We were going to be filming this after lunch. And we went outside and sat on the steps and ate our hot garlic water <laughs> it was delicious from what i recall it was delicious soup it was delicious i just remember <laughs> us all going garlic soup like it sounds not good but we were all just like of uh, what of all you looked at today today is soup day and so we but but we sat outside and yes like, it's the only time that i remember doing this it's the only time that i remember mm-hmm. not staying in the room with everyone else mm-hmm, separating mm-hmm. ourselves yeah. Having and having our our hot hot soup and running this over and over again. Yeah. Yeah. Because we really wanted to get it right because mm-hmm. it was the very first time that we were doing anything serious on the show. Right. Right. Like this is a turning point in the tone of the show. Mm-hmm. And also something that we weren't entirely sure how it was going to go over, right? Because we'd been this pretty like light comedy. Totally. So far, yeah. With yeah. like cute romance and funny bits and Lizzie's annoyed at everybody. Mm-hmm. But still, generally, you know, fun and likable. And this episode isn't funny, as I yeah. recall. Yeah. And this is serious. Yeah. I just remember that. I can like distinctly remember sitting on the top step with these bowls of soup, <laughs> running the scene with you. Yeah. Well, also, I think to our our credit, as as actors, we we wanted to get it right, and we wanted to put in that work so we could do the scene just like we could do the whole episode justice and not like and we, oh we like they should have want... stuck to the light stuff you know like we really wanted <laughs> right. to pull this off successfully and we also felt like it would only work if we didn't need to to jump cut it that like mm-hmm. this had to mm-hmm. be an entire conversation which is a yeah. it's a long scene to do in one mm-hmm. take especially mm-hmm. with very very little rehearsal and so we mm-hmm. were just like how do we get this and how do yeah. we you know, stay in it. Yeah, you and I, at this point, we really cared about these characters. We wanted Mm -hmm. to get it right. Yeah. And so, you know, we really made an effort to do that. And let's see if it pays off. (gasps) Oh, boy, after talking about it. Let's check it out. Interesting that starts on a blank screen. Oh, right. That's how we put cuts in. Mm. Oh, Mm. we were starting off with conflict. Oh. I will say that this is one of the few times that a stylist gave me something to wear and I really I was like going to say dress. yes. Yes. <laughs> and I was I very that... aware that I'd be standing yeah. in front of the camera. So, <laughs> it's part of the reason that I saved it for this one. Strategy. I think I also got that top from the stylist rack. I think this is like the random Yeah. Yeah, the random collection that we got to to choose from. Mhm. It's like yeah. the shoot. Yeah. I mean, I will say it was also, I mean, I don't know if I'm thinking about this like in hindsight or if, if it was also hitting me like in the moment, but I think just getting to actually like act with you, like, you know, some like not to dismiss like the other performances. Yeah, but something meatier, episodes, but, like, something. Yeah. Something to really kind of dig into, right? performance wise and I really I really was just like holding on to you in a bear hug right now like there is actually like some physical struggle happening um, 
<laughs> like, yeah, yeah, we're not pretending to struggle. We just, we're just we're just struggling. Yeah, um, and just we to don't kind care of like, how hot it is. Yeah, <laughs> we were committed. But yeah, I think there was something kind of neat and something like I was excited about to be able to kind of and, w- jump and here, into this with you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But like this, this is such important stuff that yes, Lizzie had never considered that mm-hmm. you'd been mm-hmm. in an apartment this whole time that that there yeah. were differences between you and I yeah. Think we, this is also an episode, um, you know, I've, I've talked on the show about yeah. things I learned and um, mm-hmm. I was so intent on, like I only cared about, and I felt like Lizzie only cared about Charlotte and yeah. wasn't doing it for the camera. But at the same time, yeah. because you can't see my face, you do mm. miss some things. And I later learned that I needed to cheat mm. some looks to camera. But I guess I also knew that there'd be times like this yeah. in which yeah. I would just talk to camera. I think oh, it all, I mean, Lizzie. oh, Lizzie, so me. <laughs> really very, very biased. Lizzie. She's also feeling a lot of things. She is. She very is. passionate. She's going to learn. And, they're both, and that's the thing. I feel like in this situation too, like Charlotte's not so willing to acquiesce and maybe let Lizzie be Lizzie so much. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a fair, balanced look, but I think Lizzie is more wrong. (laughs) And that's, but that's part of the arc of the whole thing, right? Like, Lizzie continues to kind of, like, make some mistakes. And this is, this is a big one. Yeah. Yeah. I think what's nice, too, is to see that this big kind of point of contention with Charlotte, like you were saying, it does, I get a better sense of how this is a marker of her continued growth, you know, Mm -hmm. like, in her eventual, like, love story and relationship with Darcy, too. But also, like, how, boy, how painful to Mm -hmm. say to your best friend that everything you're doing is worthless yeah oh yeah wait this is the line (sighs) my quivering bottom lip (laughs) it's making me tear up watching them (laughs) when we really did cry like we were crying and we had to like wipe away tears between takes yeah Oh, well, because at this point we had also, you know, I mean, we really cared about the characters Um, and, but also like you and I knew each other a lot better. Like we developed relationships. We cared about the characters. We cared about the Mm -hmm, characters' mm -hmm. relationships and we cared about each other. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Um, mm -hmm. And that was, you know, I think that was also the first time for me. And and a lot of us talked about this at the time. I think this was the first time for, for most of us or all of us that we played a character for this long. Yeah. You know, I had done long runs of theater before, but that is the same show every night. Right. And getting to grow with the characters was a really rewarding experience. And to get to this point, it's episode 42. This is like the first time we've tried to do something serious, but we've really earned it. Mm. And as actors, like I remember a lot with this show that the times that I cried on camera, I didn't have to like use any tricks to cry Mm, mm -hmm. because I felt so close to Lizzie and what Lizzie wanted and what Lizzie cared about and the relationships felt really real. And so I could just let myself go there. And, Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. and when you have such a great scene partner, (laughs) I'm very proud of this episode. Like I think I am too. Yeah. I, I agree with you. I mean, looking back, I know we were kind of joking about like, Oh, but I, I I think the work that we put into it really did did pay off. You know, we wanted to get it right, and it was important to us to really kind of sell that scene and and make sure we we stayed true to the characters and have it all kind of make sense. You know, like we yeah. knew where each each character was coming from, and as as sad as it, and that's what makes it so that much more effective and moving, right? Because you know you know what each you know what Lizzie and Charlotte are feeling and here they are coming to heads, you know, 
yeah. you can't do anything about it, but just let them, let them, you know, fight it and break apart and find their way back to each other eventually. We really cared about doing a good job for the fans at that point too, knowing that we were asking them to go someplace that like might be less comfortable mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. let's, let's check in with the comments and see how people reacted to this. I will say, I mean, it's also impressive that we jam packed so much into like just a few minutes that this episode was, you know? Yes. No, that's <laughs> extremely true. Now these are the top comments because mm. YouTube does not let me see like the first comments. So these are not from, the time period but mm -hmm, people mm -hmm. still have watched this cast seven years ago said the thing is lizzie is an idealist and charlotte is much more practical they have different points of view and lizzie is short-sighted and prejudiced that's okay everyone is was we have to work past them yeah that's true <laughs> that's true babsy says i was with charlotte in the books and i'm with her here sometimes mm. you have to make the practical decision and maybe lizzie feels good about turning down a great job with her family's financial situation but charlotte doesn't a friend would respect that the same way charlotte respected lizzie's decision to not take the job yeah mm. yeah yeah oh can you please let me go bro that was both <laughs> literal and metaphorical it's true it's true and here's Corey Lando also saying, in my humble opinion, the most brilliantly written line yet in the entire series up to this point, would you please let me go? Oh, wow. the feels. The feels. Mm -hmm. And I remember, I remember being nervous about it coming out, and I remember mm -hmm. being really gratified by the response. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, that we had enjoyed, as the people making the show, kind of trolling people with, like, you know, getting to see Bing Lee, and we will troll people worse later on with Darcy and stuff but this was the first time that I felt this really good like we make people cry <laughs> <laughs> we got them we got them good but it is really rewarding right because it means mm. I made you feel something and I yeah wanted to make you feel something and mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. love making people laugh I love doing comedy I'm a yeah. muppet mm -hmm. but <laughs> I also really, I love drama and I love making people feel. And I, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I is just, I, I drink the fans tears. <laughs> I'm like, yes, yes. Are you sad? We made you scratch. Give me, give me more. It makes me stronger. No, I think, and also, also when we do comedy, you know, we, I'm sure you have a gauge on like, okay, yeah, this is funny. This is going to hit. And then with drama, there's still that question mark of how right, will right. it be received? The room is quiet. You know? No, yeah. And no matter how much, you know, great work you think you're doing may not always um, translate. Right. Like, so that to like know that, to know that what we were feeling and the work that we put in did come across and did land in the way that we wanted and I am proud of what we did there and also to to surprise the viewers and and challenge them you know mm -hmm. and it, to show that it wasn't just a silly little web series you know right. we're trying to do something we're, we're still trying to find new ways to do something different and to um, still stay true to the novel but yeah what are what are ways that we can still change it up on you the audience you know, and there were practical considerations too. Like Charlotte is not in the next bit of story because she went off to live on Lady Catherine's Liz estate. Right. But she needed to be a presence in, in Lizzie's life. But, you know, in the modern sense of like, why is she gone and why are they not able to talk? Mm -hmm. And really escalating that into, I mean, it's a conflict in the book. It is a conflict mm -hmm. in the book, but mm -hmm. we really, you know, do kind of escalate it here. Yeah. So it served kind of like both purposes, right? Because it also yeah. like got you out of the way because we need you to be out of the way yeah. so Lizzie will make bad decisions about men. <laughs> and this is such an element as to why the Wickham stuff happens, mm. right? Because mm -hmm. you might have been a, a more guiding presence or, you know, even yeah. just is Lizzie out there just desperately looking for someone who makes her feel good and agrees with her, yeah. and, you know, and he shows up and says like, yeah, Darcy's a bad guy and I think you're great. And she's like, thank you. That's exactly what I was looking for. Who needs Charlotte? <laughs> yeah, these friends are going to sit in an uncomfortable place for a while, yeah. but. Yeah, but I like that. that. <laughs> yes, and they will be stronger, better people for it. Because what I also appreciate is that this Charlotte is more empowered 
in that like she's mm-hmm. not just gonna take Lizzie's criticism of her choice. She's very much standing firmly behind the decision that she's made. She's not apologizing for it or making allowances for it. And I think that's partly why the conflict is so much more intense in in our adaptation than it was in the novel. I mean, you have these you have these two strong, intelligent, opinionated women who are actually not willing to back down in this particular instance. Charlotte has always been the friend who calls Lizzie on her, mm-hmm. on her crap. And yet you have let her get away with a lot of stuff, right? And this is yeah. a, a big kind of final straw moment. And Lizzie will miss you very much. And we will miss you on the Look Back Diaries. <laughs> but I hope that we can catch up with you when we see Charlotte as a thriving businesswoman and Lizzie gets her <laughs> head out of her ass. Can't wait. I look forward to it. I do too. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs>